Thank you for listening to Comics for Fun and Profit. This is Kyle and Drew with your sneak peek at next week, episode number 434 for comics originally coming out January the 17th, 2018. Of course, there are five release weeks in January, and this one smack dab in the middle of the first month of 2018. But before Drew and myself take you individually through each and every comic book coming out in your local comic book shops this coming Wednesday, Drew, what do we have from the world of top tens and all kinds of other fun stuff from the world of comics? Yeah, we got lots of stuff. Um, we also have uh, Snow Snowpocalypse. Uh, yes, oh my! The first one of twenty eighteen. Uh, we out here in my little burg. I live about ten fifteen minutes away from Kyle, and I have ice and snow blowing. It's it's coming in in maybe three four inches already. Um, you just worked in this crap, so yeah, how's it how's it over there? Drove home from it. There was a layer of rain. The temperature dropped. 13 degrees in one hour, to, so all that rain turned to ice. We then had a nice slushy mix for two hours, and then it's been snowing, and we got an additional two inches yeah. upon that, so it was a fun, treacherous drive. It's not the pretty, you know, fluffy snow. It's <laughs> like the dump snow. This is yeah, fla- no falling down like dandruff. I don't know if dandruff falls or not, but it, it sucks. Happy 2018. <laughs> <In the> dump. <laughs> <laughs> Crappy winter. Yuck. Um, we want to uh, thank Cowabunga for taking our pick, Lucy Dreaming, from Boom Studios, and making it a, a, a pick for their deep discount of the month. Uh, you can find out more about this uh, Comics for Fun and Profit spec pick of the month, Lucy Dreaming, by our good friend... Um. <laughs> Max Bemis. Bemis, yes. <laughs> Jeez, I was thinking Max Landis. Like, no, it's not Max Landis. It's Max Bemis. And uh, and uh, how you can get your comics through Cowabunga by sending Eric an email, orders at cowabungacomics.com. And that's Cowabunga with a K. We appreciate that. We also had our good friend uh, Michael Lamb reach out to us hey. um, since last week's episode. Um Little, little, tr- little crying because his uh, uh, his Kansas Chiefs. City Chiefs. Um, <laughs> Hoping that the Patriot Killers would make it up, make it to their game. We were rooting, we were rooting for the Chiefs. Um, he said they they ripped out his heart and stomped on it again. Um, and Alex Smith will look wonderful in a Cleveland Browns jersey next year. <laughs> I think I think that's the where it, where it's going. Um, he he won't he will no longer be watching football, so he has plenty of time for comics now. He says, and um, there's always a rainbow. <laughs> Silver lining. <laughs> um, he asks about Oblivion Song, the new Robert Kirkman book. Uh, is this over? Is this going to be over ordered? Um, yes. He's getting it. He's getting it for the story. Yes. But do you think there's anything to um, to look for as far as speculation? Probably not. But there's no way I'm missing out. I mean, look no farther than Outcast. Um, a very a very popular first issue. Um, slight movement on it, but something I'm glad I have in my collection yes. and glad I ordered. But yeah, it will definitely be over ordered. Nobody's missing it. I saw there's like a two hundred dollar collector's edition or something with yeah, it. Yeah, uh, he said that there's a limited edition collector set, uh, limited to a thousand. It's with mm-hmm. a foil stamp cover, and it retails for two hundred dollars. <laughs> How many of those will you be getting? Um, I would thought we could uh, go in and each split. Uh, we, we'd get half of the book. <laughs> Uh, can I get the uh, the outside? <laughs> you can get yeah. the inside. Yeah, I like it. Um, he said the uh, he was taking a look at the 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 store variant cover for the second print of Dark Metal Two by Matina, mm-hmm. uh, with a big old nasty cover of uh, the, the 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 bat who laughs. The Batman who laughs. Yeah. Um, get anything with that dude on the cover, even if it's second I mean, print, right? He's like, it, it, I mean, it's getting to the point where it's just, I want a, I want a t-shirt with that, that awesome cover on it. Yeah, I want, get it. Get everything. Get it, get it, go, go in early and often. Yes. On the bat who laughs. Um, he also was, uh, we had a question about uh, the Punisher 218 bump. And uh, Michael thinks it might be because of the, that's the first uh, time Punisher was in the War Machine armor. Yeah, that was a dope cover. Uh, I'm not even a, a a, a Punisher guy, and I wanted that cover just because it's awesome looking. Um, that's that's Matt Rosenberg. 
another another Matt Rosenberg joint, and uh, he's doing good, man. That's a mm. really uh, – I wasn't reading a lot of Punisher. I'm going to read it when uh, Ennis was on it, when Dylan was doing the drawing. and um, But I had, I'd kind of fallen away and then checked it out again. But it's it's really good. <coughs> yeah, now there's all kinds of must-do Punishers, from Punisher Platoon to that. that. That's great. Yeah, yeah exactly Absolutely. right. Well, let's see here. Um, we got a little bit of news. Um, you a Conan fan? By any chance? Uh, yeah, he's one of my favorite talk show hosts. I, I enjoy him. Out okay. of the, the ones. Okay. So, oh, 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 hold up. Uh, the Barbarian. Oh, um, you know, I, I enjoy the the lamentations of your women and all that stuff from the, the movie. But no, not a big Conan guy. Yeah. Well, it's back at Marvel. Um, mm. Back in the back in the clutches of Marvel. So, uh, I think Dark Horse did must they have do done something, something to wrong? Get the- did they do something to get it, or did it default back? Uh, I think they outbid. Uh, the license was up. And... Okay, if they wanted it, I'm cool. If 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 Marvel's like, give it to us, we got something in mind. Give it, yes. Well, I think it's owned by the you know the Conan Family Trust or something like that. Um, I don't think that's what it's actually called, but it's something like that. <laughs> and uh, they just you know when it when it came time. To renew, they decided to go with Marvel. Um, Can't miss out on a mouse. I, I I'm starting to think that Dark Horse did something to uh, Marvel's girlfriend, and <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "I'm going to take your Star Wars. Done, I want my Star Wars back. <laughs> I'm uh, take... I want my Conan back, and I'm coming for Department H if you don't know <laughs> what's coming. Uh, I just I'm going to buy Fox, and I'm coming for your Alien Predator books. Um, you're not going to have anything before too long." Poor, poor Dark Horse, uh, lost, lost Conan the Barbarian. Um, I mean, honestly, don't take this Dark Horse. Um, I'm saying you you shouldn't even get a heading on this previews. Let's let's go ahead and put you in the back half of the book. At this uh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm there with you. They do not belong as the first publisher that you see in the pre- previews. Honestly, play. they're like, I don't. They're they're not even top ten for me. They're they're below. Uh, Dynamite. Aftershock. They're below Boom. They're below, they're below Valiant. Pony. They're below Zenoscope. Well, okay, not Zenoscope, but <laughs> <laughs> they're they're below a lot of them, and I I just don't get it. I don't get what how they how they earned that spot. Must have been on past performance alone, back when they had Star Wars. Remember when Dark Horse was relevant? Yeah, and I don't think there's his there's ever been a demotion in the Diamond catalog. I don't think. Let it be. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. That'd be sweet. Um. But anyway, I, I am not excited, I guess, because I don't really care that much about Conan. But I, I've read some. Um, I, I get my muscly myth mythos from Thor, and uh, but Conan's like just a dude. Yeah, I mean, there, there's yeah. no magic hammer. There's no god of thunder. He don't fly nowhere. It, it feels of similar vein with the language and. The swashbuckling and the, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know. A lot more loincloths. Yeah, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll check out what whatever whatever they put out. Um, I mean, I'm sure Jason Aaron will be writing it. I, I wonder. I wonder. I, um, from what I hear in the Twitterverse, the, uh, the people that are on the payroll at Marvel, a lot of those writers are excited and clamoring for their chance to write conan so again like i was saying like if if marvel's like give it to us we have a plan then i'm all in if it's like okay we'll take it like last picked on the team then that sucks yeah yeah i mean i I don't know what dark horse did they they were putting they were cranking them out they just wasn't selling Um, maybe they just smelled blood in the water and everybody's like just they're they're giving them the Amazon treatment where you just try to destroy everybody around you and then pick up what's left later. Yeah, yeah. The the Walmart of of that. Hmm. Um, we also got a Comicron top ten. Oh, of snap! Stuff happening. Um, before we get to that, we can look at just exactly how the how the month shook out. So this is December we're talking about all the way back in 2017. Uh, um, and uh, we did uh, comics were down sixteen um, percent compared to November, but November was a big month if you recall. Mm-hmm. Um, 
uh, over last year, between December of this year and December of last year, also down uh, almost 16%. So um, not as not as strong. The fourth quarter, the entire fourth quarter of comics, down a couple of percentage points. So it's not as bad, not quite as bloodbath um, as you would think. Um, um, and then for the year, now we have a full year of sales. Um, comics are down 10% based on uh, over over 2016. So 2017 was was down 10% in in comic sales, which is not not a great trend. Especially what was uh, 16 was the year of rebirth, right? Yeah, that's true, but I think we sold there were more comics released in um 2017 than in 2016. Yeah, it makes sense. Rebirth wasn't a January thing and rebirth kind of for DC brought in uh, double shipped, so yeah. that kind of doubles the amount of comics. So yeah, yeah, I yeah. get it. So for December, uh, DC won the dollar share this oh, time. Oh, the new coming of the new age. Yeah, so they they sold thirty four point five percent of the the dollars uh, in the top three hundred. Marvel sold thirty three point eight percent. Image at eight point six nine. Now the units. Uh, went back to Marvel again. So they sold 38.8% of the units, and DC sold 37.65% of the units. So usually we're seeing that flipped because of the 299 versus 399, uh, that Marvel usually can claim the dollar, and, mm-hmm. and and DC occasionally edges them in the units. So that's a little, a little flip. And um, Marvel did ship... Uh, 85 comics versus DC's 80, and um, Marvel shipped 43 graphic novels compared to DC's 38. So they shipped more, and therefore makes sense that they got a little more of the units, um, but not as they didn't make as much money on them as DC mm. did. So I- interesting. Uh, IDW actually outshipped Image. Uh, 67 to 65 when you add up the the comics and the trades. Mm-hmm. Uh, Image only shipped 10 trades yeah, last month, but 55 crazy. comics. Yeah. So a lot of that stuff, a lot of those breaks and hiatuses, uh, the timing was just off for a December release on any of those things. So, um, But now, oh, and here's the number. They, uh, they, they did... 5,919 new comics were released in 2017. That's, um, so 6,000 different comics released in 2017. That seems like a lot. And and that's up, up a hundred over, um, over last year and over 4,000 new trades were released and that's up from 3768 last year. So kind of, kind of interesting. We're putting out more stuff. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And now for the uh, the top ten, number one goes to Doomsday Clock. Number two, no, no surprise there. No surprise there. Um, Dark Knight's Metal number four takes the second slot. Then we have Phoenix Resurrection: The Return of Jean Grey. Uh, number three. Thank you to that uh, that cover. <laughs> yeah, uh, and Batman thirty six and thirty seven take four and five. Batman White Knight's heating up. Uh, it's third issue takes the sixth spot. Um, Still not not enough people on that book. Even at number six, more people should be reading. <laughs> uh, Amazon Spider Man Venom Venom Inc Alpha number one. Uh, did you say Amazon Spider Man? I would read that. Uh, amazing. I'm, did I say Amazon? Amazing mm-hmm. Spider Man Venom Venom Inc Alpha number one. It is a convoluted title. It yeah, took the seventh spot, at, 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 and uh, surprises me that it did that well. Um, Marvel 2 and 1, number 1, uh, took the 8th spot. Hawkman Foul, number 1, took the ninth spot. And then regular Amazing Spider-Man 792 comes in at the 10th slot. Color me shocked on Hawkman Found. Yeah. Uh, did you read it? No. Not great. <laughs> Not- <laughs> that was kind of my assumption. That's why I'm like, what? Yeah. And the Venom thing, Venom Inc., also not great. Mm-hmm. I can see why that sold. That probably had a ton of variants, uh, but I don't think Hawkman did. Um, so, what's your take on 
where the Mendoza line is. Where, where's the 100,000 mic mark at? Well, let's see here. Our Batmans were under 100,000. Yeah, so they're not coming back month. up, are they? They're not coming back up. So top so. three? Yeah. Top two. Yep. yep, top three. Phoenix Resurrection will be over it just because that cover. I mean, you're giving us a, a beautiful art germ cover and a thousand variants. And, yeah. I mean, Cal Bunka ordered a gross of them as it came, so yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, top two. Oh, yeah? You don't think Phoenix is up there? Yeah, hmm. I'm, I, I, I can't just agree with you. I can't agree with you. Yeah, we on have, everything you'll have that uh, let's see we've got uh, in the trades a new saga tops the list uh, as it usually does uh, the, as it should yeah uh, the war of jokes and riddles story arc from Batman takes the second spot a Star Wars a Batman detective uh, Black Hammer Justice League V Suicide Squad Good old shirtless bear fighter takes the seventh slot. <laughs> uh, that would be an awesome. Now that I think about it, that's a great trade. It's a fun trade, yeah. And it's going to have all the covers, the the dong covers or whatever. It might, it might. Uh, Deadly Class Volume Six continues to sell well in trade. Um, Venomverse takes the ninth spot, and Rick and Rick and Morty. Uh, hey, Oni cracking the top ten. Heck yeah! Yeah, so good for them. They they'll they'll be losing Rick and Morty to uh, Marvel. <laughs> Marvel will have it here soon. <laughs> it won't take long. Um, so yeah, some interesting stuff. Anything there jump out at you? Like I said, Hawkman found. I mean, we're down. Yeah. I think we're down, and we're down quick in these numbers. I I think your number ten spots hovering at like 70. seventy. Yeah, seventy. Yeah, um, because. I would think Walking Dead's got to be like at 11, 12, mm-hmm. and it's at 68. It's 64. Or so. yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I'm surprised Amazing sold as well as it did. Um, that's a surprise, too. Hmm. Maybe it come back to where it was at one point. Yeah, it maybe. Wasn't that long ago that was a must-read for about everybody. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's that's all we had in the in the top to the top 10 we'll get those numbers next week the hard numbers and see what what's how close we were mm-hmm. anything else before we jump into uh next week nope i'm good all right let's have it over to previewsworld.com let's go over to new releases let's find january 17th 2018 and drew let's start where you and i always love to start we talked on it just a moment ago let's start in dark horse <laughs> and off we go got nothing nothing We've got nothing. They've got nothing. There's nothing to behold. Oh, so, premier publisher, my butt. <laughs> yeah, moving on to DC. Let's check out what we got in the way. Killer bees. Oh, look at that Joshua Middleton cover on Aquaman. That is awesome, man. These covers are just good. Just good. Good. Have you now. read the new um, Batman Teenage Mutant <coughs> Ninja Turtles? thing that came out i read the first one but i i have no i'm not caught up i didn't read the second one in other words yeah that's what i meant this new volume it, did you do read any of it yeah yeah yes it's good oh, okay. it is good and of course i'm ordering all of them so joel's back on tom king or on um, mm. batman <laughs> hey don't start that rumor <laughs> she's doing both uh interiors but i don't think i think michael jannon's doing the cover on one is she doing the cover on the other no, that was not her on that second one. That second cover one was uh, Olivier Coppel. Could be Oliver Coppel. There's an extra I in there, so it's French. Oh, Olivier. So it, it's like either that, Olivier yeah. or right. Olivier. I gotcha, gotcha. Uh, then we've got the fourth printing of the first White Knight. Third... Oh, it's another sketch. Uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. The third printing of the second white knight which does not look familiar to me yeah that's that's the, that's that's the cover is yeah. that the cover yep and the third the second printing of the third issue uh so that's just uh selling through selling through selling through as it should Man. and i can't wait for just to, to snag a trade of this as well i wonder if eight they'll put it yeah they'll eventually put it in all in one do you think it'll be one a one volume trade yeah. 
Oversized hardcover first. That's yeah. That's normally how they do. Okay. Are we excited for Damage, written by Robert Venditti, with art by Tony S. Daniel, our boy from uh, New Fifty Two Batman? I think this is the first of our our freakazoid tri gatefold covers, if I remember correctly. Uh huh. Um. Task as the government's own living, breathing, ticking time bomb. Ethan retains no control when the monster takes over. So it's friggin' DC Hulk. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, no, nobody cares. You don't think so? Yeah. But what about Ethan? We're worried about Ethan. I mean, oh, this. I'm going to get this in case it's something, this number one, because it's, yeah. it's not the same number ones we've been getting. But if you're asking me if damage is the next big thing, that's not my opinion. Yeah. But yeah, I'm buying it. I'm, I'm going to get it. It's definitely worth checking out. It's definitely worth having this. You're not doing multiples. I don't, I don't believe Damage is a new character, but if this happens to be a well-done series, you're going to want this first one. And you're not doing multiples. I think I did a twofer, if I remember correctly. Two, yeah. yeah. Okay, we've got the third printing of Dark Knight's Metal 1. Uh, the third printing of Dark Knight's Metal 2, and the second printing of Dark Knight's Metal 3. So it continues to sell through as well, and is very, very sought after. Mm-hmm. I probably should have continued to buy those. <laughs> um, this is the... Harley f- Quinn! Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, well, I was looking at the Green Lantern 39. Uh, this is the finale to World of Our Own. Uh... And I, I wasn't sure if this is one of those that is going away or is just going to stick around. Haven't heard. Is this Frank Thierry's first Harley Quinn? Ah, yep, yep. He's taken up over for the Palmiati and whatever. This Amanda Connor. A, Amanda Connor this, and, and Palmiati. This so. is an odd title for a... Uh, a... Uh, a section of books that's being man batter up. Hmm. Harley's in a dark, dark place after the hard right turn her life took. So when the citizens of Coney Island say it was a mysterious bat that kidnapped one of her friends, she is not going to take it lying down. Do we expect anything except for the same goof? Frank Thierry. I'm trying to think of the last thing I read of his that I liked. And I think he was on Detective for a while. Does that sound right? It doesn't sound wrong, but I don't know. Yeah, and I th- yeah, I think it was um slightly better than workman like <laughs> if I remember. It was so above average, you know. It's no it's no Kyle Higgins or who's that other guy you like? Tinian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's better than mm-hmm. those guys. So I don't know. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna sample it. All right. Well, he okay. I I'm I'm guessing it's gonna be similar to his run on Deadpool that he wrote. More probably. Oh really? Thierry did Deadpool? Yeah, I'm looking through some Wikipedia stuff, and he did uh some Deadpool back in. I uh, I just went off of it. I can't find it. Yeah, no, that's a... uh, he went. <coughs> 2001 and 2002, he wrote some Deadpool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. I don't think it's gonna be great, but I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, it, it's worth a, it's worth a jump back in to see if they've got anything with it. Yeah, for DC, he's done Gotham Underground, Batman and the Outsiders, Savage Hawkman. Boy, oh, some of those wonderful Convergence books. Oh Christ, maybe it's uh, maybe this is a disaster waiting to happen. It's muy posible. Yeah, um, Super Sons Twelve. This is the finale of Super Sons of Tomorrow storyline, which has been fun, fun, fun. Mm-hmm. I really liked it. And uh, so I'm excited about this, how this thing ends, and then where we go from here. It's been a great book. That is a... Uh, John Boy Myers is a... Uh, that's, that, that's a different take on... <laughs> Good covers. Yeah. 
And then we have... Uh, oh, wait, no, sorry. I clicked on Superman. That's why I was confused. Superman 39, also very nice. Yeah. And these are like all those small yeah. versions of Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Yeah, it looks like it. What would it be like to fly with the fan of steel? Some very special children find out as Superman fulfills some unique wishes. Hmm, like make a wish? I don't know. How depressing are we getting here? Yeah, very special. It's a good, co- it's a good looking cover. Uh, Bill Sienkiewicz is doing the, the cover, the B cover for Trinity. Um, if you're interested in, in that. Superman punching a dinosaur. It's pretty beautiful. Yeah. It's not the normal murky Sienkiewicz you would think about. It's kind of nice. Of course, I like that murky. So Conan's going to Marvel, but we currently have Conan on DC yeah. this week. Yeah, Wonder Woman, Conan, crossover. So we'll see. Uh, that'll finish up pretty soon. Lots of good stuff coming out from DC this week. Lots of interesting stuff to check out. Um, are you picking up that sketch, uh, White Knight? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to see I think I missed that one. Anything else in DC? Nope. We'll have to keep an eye on damage number one. Let's head on down to IDW. Um, we got our regular Star Wars Adventures 6, which, uh, is that, oh, we got Rose, oh no. Oh, Rose, okay, I was trying, yeah. who's that, who's that, oh yeah, yeah. The biggest new character from Star Wars The Last Jedi, would you agree with that? Yes, I think so. Who else, who else, who else is in the running? Uh, Laura Dern. Uh, not much screen time, I don't think. Uh, that weird cat horse. <laughs> a weird cat horse. <laughs> Benicio del Toro. So all those people you think are big were bigger uh, characters, new characters than Rose. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you, you, you might have a point. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we also have Star Wars Adventures. Forces of Destiny, Hera, cover A and B. Well, I don't know what that is. This is the new weekly series exploring corners of the Star Wars. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't even have a number on it. Yeah, I can't remember some of these. We don't have a cover. We don't have a... I don't know. I'm lost and don't know exactly where yeah. we're going with this one. Yeah, stupid. That's enough from UIDW. Yeah. De- demote you too. <laughs> All right, set on down. See what image has. Ice cream man number one. Yeah, so That's I read a- read the uh, preview pages to this in the back of several uh, image comics, and it looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's a cool little Fraser Irving cover B. I think you got to go with that A. I oh definitely. Yeah, I think you got to go with the A. I'm excited about Copperhead, the way it ended, the last issue ended. I just can't wait to get back into that one, so I'm excited about 18. Um, what about Days of Hate, another L.S. Cott uh, book? Uh, 22, 2022 United States of America, the loss that ripped them apart, drove one into the arms of the police state and the other towards a guerrilla war against the white supremacy. Now they meet again. This is the st- a story of war. What do you think? It could be awesome. I mean, definitely. I mean, it's something I'm going to jump into. I want to read that. It's that Daniel um, Zazelj uh, that's doing the the art and cover chores. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the guy that did the Starve series that we like so much. Oh, okay. So that's kind of cool. He has he he draws people kind of uh, Sean Murphy ish, you know, long and angular, and he's got that kind of style. I'm not saying he's Sean Murphy, but a little <laughs> reminiscent of. There you go. Dark Fang's Rum. been fun. Go um, for it. If you, uh, I don't know if you checked any of it out, but did not. Uh, really good art. A really cool uh, 
off kilter vampire story. Um, but you know, I know there's a lot of those, but I, I I've had fun with this. I've, I've enjoyed it. And I don't really know who miles Gunter is before this, but I, I like it. And I like the Kelly Shannon art. Very cool. Rumble number two, soul without pity. Rathrak is more brutal, more effect, more efficient, more bloodthirsty than ever, and nothing Del, Bobby, or Timok can do seem to be able to stop him. Meanwhile, what's at the bottom of, of Lake Harondo? I, I really like these characters, so I'm, uh, I like more Rumble. Yeah, well, good, good. You wish they wouldn't have uh, renumbered? Doesn't matter yeah, to I, you. I, I don't think they needed to. I, I didn't need a clean break, but oh well. Think it helped them? Sales wise, yeah, probably. Have we seen? We haven't seen those numbers yet. I don't think. Uh, I don't think they have. No. Put a pin in that. Killer we'll check that next month, next week. Killer be killed. Fifteen. Yeah, that's great. That's been great. I wonder how close we are to the end here. Um. Yeah, I wonder what the end game is. I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 it could go a bunch of different directions. It could go, it could go a lot longer. It could be, mm-hmm. it could be winding down. I, I, I just can't tell. I know this is one of those that I don't. I'm not waiting for the trade on. I gotta, no, I, I gotta, gotta have all that back matter and stuff. I, uh, I just, it's, it's really good in single issues. Mm-hmm. Do we know anything about the further adventures of Nick Wilson number one? I think we hated it when we looked at the solicit, didn't we? I did not get this because it looked silly. Yeah, yeah. We and we rarely pass on an image, or at least yeah. I rarely pass on an image. And I think, I think I got. I a, think a I five still got issue one. Run and four bucks, and it just. All right, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna read everything. Let, let's 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 see if maybe we. Who knows? I actually think I end up caving and getting one of these. From Eisner and Emmy winning writers, for a few years in his early twenties, Nick Wilson had superpowers. And all the acclaim associated with them. When those powers vanished, so did his fame, sending him from national hero to late night punchline. By the time we pick up his story, he's not yet 30 and barely an answer in a trivia contest. Faced with a life in a rearview mirror full of lost powers, faded glory, former enemies, ex girlfriends, and forgotten grudges, Nick struggles to figure out who he is today, packing on an extra 20. Pounds and peering through the medical marijuana haze. He is trying to build a future when all that's left is just a man who hasn't been super for a very long time. These are the further adventures of Nick Wilson. So you see why we were struggling. (coughs) (laughs) It's a terrible solicit, right? It just didn't sound like something I wanted to jump into. And, like, there's a couple extra writers on it. And I, I was, I don't know. Right. I just passed. I, it it just didn't sound interesting at the top. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely wrong on this. But I it it's one of the few that I just said, nah. Yeah, I agree with you. Anything else, sir? No. You still reading Copperhead? Yeah, love it. Awesome. Claire has been shot, stabbed, and beaten, but nothing will stop her from being reunited with her son. Is, uh, do, you, do you remember that I talked about Copperhead uh, right off the top, right? Did you? Okay, I, I yeah, moved on. Yes, yes. You you ignore me. You continue to ignore me in the new year. I thought your resolution that you were going to show me more respect. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> think... no, 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 no one ever said that. I, that, was, that didn't even make the top 300. I, I, I think, actually, I think we have a, a resolution from a, a listener, too, and I forgot to, oh. let me find that. <laughs> all right. I think that's all we have from Image, though, unfortunately. Uh, we'll, we'll do it next week. We'll do it next week. Very cool. All right. Let's head on down to Marvel. See what Marvel has for us. All new Wolverine 29. Still Dom Taylor. Orphans Still of X Still Orphans five. of X storyline. Yeah. Which has been good. But I, I, I'm, I get tired of these storylines when they go too long. Yeah. I like I like a couple of issues and then move on to another story. I'm old school. Another uh, Doctor Strange, which has been great. The Donny Cates book. Fantastic. You should be reading this. Uh, Thor 703. 
Mm-hmm. Um, the death of Mighty Thor. Still, nobody's died. <laughs> it's part four. They're still <laughs> they're still close to dying, but nobody's died yet. Maybe maybe it's next. Maybe this one. Still no death. Still no death. Jane Foster don't look good, but I don't know if it's going to be her. <laughs> Star Wars forty two, Karen Gillan, part five of the Ashes of De- of Jedi. Oh, I thought we finished that. No, we, we're cranking another one. Did you read forty one? I can't. I don't think I did. Oh, it sure felt like it was the end of that storyline. Okay, all right. So we have Peter Parker Spectacular Spider Man two ninety nine here, heading into three hundred next month. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't think that's anything special to you. It... I just don't know. Spider Man tries to do special things for three hundred ever any time now. So oh, that's true. Who knows? Probably should hop on that, right? Mm-hmm. So check and see if we can if I'll see that if we haven't got. I think I've got one of those on order, maybe. I think yeah, sounds right. Venom Incorporated Omega One. How about that um, Adventure Six Seventy Six? That weekly that they're doing the No Surrender. Mm-hmm. Um, did you check out that at all? I haven't been reading those. No. I think it just it just started. It was uh, six oh, seventy five. Yeah, this, this is week two. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is only week two. Oh, that's right. This was the weekly book. Yeah, and this is the cover that has a, like a an old school Avengers comic on the cover. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of a throwback, retro-y look. I don't know. And we got a new story arc for Champions, too, with 16. And we'll see what's going on with Viv. She was in, in flux in the last the last story arc, so we'll see where she's at. <coughs> All right, anything else in Marvel? No, no, that's, that's good stuff. There's our Punisher Max collection. Number seven, that Jason Aaron run, one through 22. All right, let's see what's that in our back half. Let's do look at our Onis, our Aftershocks, our Dynamites, our Booms. Who did Punish? Who, Jason Aaron did that? Yeah, Punisher Max, this trade paper back here. It is the, the, the nice 22-issue Jason Aaron run for Punisher. Huh. Yeah, Steve Dillon art. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yep. I knew D- Ennis was on it, but I didn't know Aaron had done a run. Mm-hmm. Jason Aaron and Steve Dillon deliver a grisly, uncensored Punisher run like none other. Huh. Cool. There. All right. Let's see here. That's it in Marvel for me. Yep. Let's look at our back half. Uh, We've got uh, the final issue of Amazing Age from Alterna. So, um, the one that started it all uh, in the Sub one dollar, dollar fifty newsprint comic resurgence of Alterna was the first issue of Amazing Age was the one that kicked it all off, and now we're finishing up that mini series for a dollar fifty. Um, so you owe it to yourself to finish that up. There you go. Check that out. Brilliant trash number C number three. Tim Seeley. Did you read Mike that first issue by any chance? No, it's it's sitting there. I haven't I haven't picked that one up. What'd you think? Oh, I didn't read it. No, I didn't read it. Okay, yeah. I got it. To, I'll, I'm gonna read it because I like Seely. Yeah, you like it more than I do. Um, Zenoscope is launching Bell Beast Hunter number one by writer Dave, David Francini and a cover by Igor Vitterini. I'm assuming he didn't do any art inside too. It's a new series. It's a new hero uh, inside the Grim Universe, though. So it's an established universe, but it's possible there could be a little spec action on this. I don't know enough about the Grim universe. I don't read it. I've sampled a couple, and it hasn't been awesome. Um, I think I got one of these coming, though. Take a walk with me, Drew. Okay. Amigo Comics. Yeah. Call of the Suicide Forest, number one. Currently, very, very heavy topic in our current news at the moment because of uh, 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 Jake Paul or whatever, whichever one of the Paul brothers did his video, Logan Paul. Oh. So I don't know if this will get black backlash because it's currently kind of uh, a, a taboo, even more of a taboo topic at the moment so because of those that's videos. that's a thing. 
Yeah, the, there is, a, you know, the Japanese suicide forest is a, th- a known thing. But then the YouTuber that went into there and showed a dead body on a YouTube video has caused a giant commotion currently in the YouTube sp- spectrum of things. Oh, okay. Interesting. And then just on the hills, heels of that, we have Call of the Suicide Forest, number one from Amigo Comics. Yes. Again, I don't know if those two things will link together and, and mean anything for that, but it's possible. They are usually black and white, uh, Amigos are. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if this one is. It doesn't say it is. Yeah. Uh, I'll be, I'm curious. I'm curious about this, and I think I have one of these coming. Probably, oh, yeah? Probably not more than one. I, I usually get mm. Amigo stuff. Very nice. But that is weird timing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I thought so. I was like, I'm like, wait a minute. I wonder if those two will do anything. Go West. Is this the uh, the band from the 80s uh, or from the 90s? I don't remember. What was their song? Oh, do you remember? Uh, King of Wishful Thinking. Oh, my goodness. Good pull. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Another Alterna comic. I remember that because you gave our mother that stupid Pretty Woman soundtrack, and she played it. Constantly growing up. Really? Oh my yeah. god. Weird things get stuck in my head. That is weird. Um, Jimmy's Bastards number six. Garth Ennis uh, book. So it a uh, little behind, a little slow. But uh, he was busy hanging out at the, the Comic Con convention with me, so he had a little trouble finishing this. <laughs> is that what it was? Yeah, it slowed him down. Dynamite has this librarian series that's also a, a, a TV series. Yes. First issue was really good. Was it? Yep. Derek and myself were kicking it around as a kind of a, it's kind of a knockoff Doctor Who. Yes. You saying? Yes. I'm not sure if I should uh, jump into the TV show or not. Well, there's the movies too. The Noah Wiley oh. movies. So. Oh, there's, there's, there's movies? Yeah. The, it was just there's, there were, series. There were two or three um, the librarian movies with with Noah Wiley, and then that begat the series that Noah Wiley was in the first issue, the pilot, not issue, the pilot episode, and then uh, the rest of the crew took over from that, and that's uh. and that's who the uh, current the comic series is based on the the current se- series, which has had a couple of seasons now, I think. But I see a guy who looks just like Noah Wiley on the cover. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it is based on him then. Maybe it is based on him. I've only read one. Um, but yeah, you could you should check out uh either uh, the movies were good and um I watched the bit of the first season and never finished it, but it was good. Very cool. Drew, did you like Pacific Rim? Uh, I never saw it. Okay. I heard I heard it was From good. L- legendary af legendary comics we have Pacific Rim Aftermath number one. Nice. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Is that's um based in the what? What is that? An aliens? It, it's like kaiju. It's like big giant robots and monsters fighting okay. each other. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking of Prometheus. I think this. No, yeah, this was uh, Benicio del Toro, and apparently John Boyega is in the the one that comes out here in a couple of months. The, the this I can't remember if the movie's also named Aftermath or it's just. Pacific Grim to Electric Boogaloo. Wow, that'd be amazing if it was called that. <laughs> you had to break, a little break dancing to get through <laughs> like the you. stages. That'd be awesome. So in. Uh, we've got a new Robin Hood. This is also a Zenscope book. Uh, I've tried. Where's the cheesecake cover? I've tried this series and it's um, not for me because it's oh, not yeah? good. There's our cheesecake. And I like good stuff. Mostly. (laughs) 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 Scooby-Doo Apocalypse, uh, notwithstanding. Notwithstanding. (laughs) Uh, We've got Teen Rogues. Uh, That's a new number one from Amigo as well. Uh, This is Roberto Carato doing the writing with art by Brian Lee and a cover by Ertito Montana. Um, and these are stories about Bram and Weasel. Uh, Tales of Rogues are auto-conclusive comics. I don't know what that means. Uh, by new emerging hot artists. In the debut issue, our rogues face one face one their oddest jobs. A nobleman has challenged them to a test and 
beat the security of his fortress, and no thief has ever escaped from the Halcatraz castle. So the person who's writing the solicit, I don't know if they English is their first language, so I would probably want to stay away from this one. Sounds sounds bad. Hmm. Sounds bad. I don't know what auto conclusive comics are though. I believe that means self contained. Auto conclusive means that. Yeah, I'm trying to look that up right now. Okay. Escape. A auto conclusive book is a book that does not have a sequel but ends within itself. Okay. One and dones. Yeah, one shots. I learn something new every day. <laughs> How long have I been saying one and dones, and I didn't know it had an actual term for it? <laughs> I don't believe it'll overtake a penultimate in my book, but uh, <laughs> we shall try. Oh, I'm going to start using auto conclusive. What do we know about Antarctic Press? We ever hit anything on that? Uh, no, I, keep trying to th- I can't think of anything. Here we have Teether number one. We have no artist. We have no writer. We have no cover. We have just an awful, grisly looking cover that's going to give me nightmares for a long it's time a to come. Terrible looking cover. Yeah. Very so, spooky. Perhaps if you're into that kind of thing, that is cool, but I, I, I don't want that cover in my house. Well, I would think that it's not TBD anymore. I mean, it is coming out in less than a week. <laughs> so. Somebody has to know. I wonder if Antarctic Press has a Antarctic and A N T Arctic. Look with a C. Mm-hmm. Yep. Arctic. Watch me type. It's the best t- <laughs> best podcast in the world. Yeah, it's just that. Man, <laughs> nobody has, nobody has it. That's so strange. TBD, TBD. Still too. Huh. So they st- <laughs> it comes out in a couple of days, and nobody knows who wrote it <laughs> or Their drew it. Must be so proud. Uh, does that mean it might be delayed? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing too. David Hutchison. You found it. I found something on mycomicshop.com. That's crazy. Yeah. Either way, freaky. Yeah. I don't see anything else. Yeah, nothing else. Nothing Nothing else. else. That's all I've got. So, Drew, this is the point in the podcast where I say, what is your book to find? What is the reason to go to your comic book shop? What's the one to pick up? Make sure you put in that crisp top loader and hold for dear life for the next few weeks until you sell that for way more money. Well, I think I have one of these coming, so I'm kind of interested now. You've pointed me in the right direction on this Call of the Suicide Forest Uh with its controversial angle. Mm -hmm. Um I'm a little more interested in it than it was when I pre-ordered it. So that that's my pick. There you go. And I'm going with uh, Ice Cream Man number one. Because uh, it seems like Image is pushing it. So, yeah, let's 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 do this. Yeah, not a lot else uh, from them that, mm-hmm. that looks as good. So, yeah, that would be that would be definitely be my pick from Image. Very nice, very nice. Anything else, Drew? Nope, that'll do it. All right, then we want to thank everybody for listening to Comics for Fun and Profit. Thank you for tagging along for episode number 434, where Drew and I went through the comics coming out January 17th, 2018. Of course, you can get a hold of us on our Twitters, on our Facebooks. You can drop a line on our Gmail account. Um, If we missed something this week, or we are wrong about something, or there's something you'd like to add, please feel free to drop us a line and tell us all about it. Uh, We thank you once again for listening. For Drew and for myself, see ya.